Some residents who are supposed to benefit from one district, one factory of uh, government have started fact-checking claims by government on that policy. Government has spent close to 1.7 billion cities on the policy since 2017. But some of the companies that are supposed to be funded say they've not received any funding from government. Here are assets of the second part of one district, some factories produced by Kojonyako. Like the Central, Eastern, Volta, Western, Greater Accra, Western North, the OT region, and many other regions we have covered in this documentary, the Shanti region is no exception. Here, many of the factories that are captured in the records of the One District One Factory Secretariat under the Ministry of Trade and Industries as factories that have been completed and operational were not so. If they say there's a plantain factory that's operating here, it's a lie. Fact checking has been recognized as one of the potent tools for journalists, but residents who are mostly farmers here decided to fact check the claims of their MP and government. Here at Agogo, there are abandoned raw materials that should make any factory that was promised farmers flourish. But the farmers here say there is no factory to cater for their needs, contrary to the claims by the MP for the area. Plantain factory, no say yes, here we are. Baby, I'm so a musino, no, a honey and num, a coffoo, you're in Tis and Fidia BS. They have indeed said that there is a plantain factory that's operating here. It's not true because that's the same route we take when we are going to farm and we've seen no vehicle no process planting for export i have not seen any factory like that operating in the eastern region government has indicated that 43 factories have signed up to the one district one factory policy and have received support already 22 of such factories, the ministry indicates, are operating while 18 are under construction. For three of the factories, there is a tag on them as pipeline factories. But it's become a tale full of reasons why many of the factories are not operating and their impacts not felt in the Ghanaian economy as opposed to what government has envisaged. Uh, one is what factory is a concept. I bought into it and felt say I could also do something. Assurance are in your end is a bank through The assurance we got was that government through the Exim Bank will give us some loans, support our factory. We've done all that is required of us, but also no avail. Now we are almost losing hope. Yes, I have put up the structures. I have bought the equipment. If you go around, you will see five of such factories. We assemble electric cookers here. We produce nails and utensils here. We also produce mineral water here. We are even working on production of noodles here and even ordered machines for that. But where do we get the working capital? We have relied on the promises to our detriment. Get the working capital. The promise is now upon that and I feel say a bad boy in the home Sometimes, hey, yeah. This is the chief executive officer of the Shapa Enterprises Limited, a factory that's under the one district, one factory located at Nkoko, set AJ Bar. It turns out that he has received no funding from the financiers of the policy, making it difficult for him to operate.